Hi, I'm Savita and welcome to my online sewing classes. This is the second class about overlocking machines. In the previous class, you have seen a demo on Juki MO50E. In this class, I'll be demonstrating this Jack computerized industrial overlocking machine. When I bought this machine, it took me a few days to figure out how to thread the machine. It does come with the instruction manual, but I've never been able to understand this as it seems very complicated. If you don't have this machine or if you don't intend to buy, you may skip this video because in this class I'll be showing how to thread this machine and how to use the different features in this machine. This is a heavy duty machine meant for industries but if you sew a lot or if you have a sewing business you can go for this. Compared to the other machine this is much much faster. Once you have threaded this machine right nothing may go wrong. I have not faced any issue. I also have a industrial sewing machine which I have already demonstrated in one of my previous videos. The link is given below. Now let me explain the features of this machine. I'll also be showing 3 thread and 5 thread overlock. This is the Jack computerized industrial overlocking machine. It's JK768 CDI. This is the oil level sight window. If you see inside there are two lines and the oil needs to be in between these two lines and to tame the oil there is a knob here on top you need to open this and fill the oil specified for this machine this is the power on off switch this is the digital display panel you can set the speed of the machine and also the needle position using these two buttons. The functions of this that is changing the speed or setting the needle position I have already shown in the video on Jack industrial sewing machine. So it works the same way. You can see two pedals here. One is for lifting the footer and the other for running the machine. This is a direct drive machine wherein the motor is inbuilt. As you see here the machine is already threaded for a three thread overlock. This is the lower looper thread, upper looper thread, back needle thread. So for a three thread overlock, these are the three you'll be using. If you're making a five thread overlock, then you'll need to thread this as well. This is for the front needle and this is the fifth thread goes from behind here, which I'll be showing later. First, let me show all these three. So I'll remove threads and then show you how to thread it again. Push this and open. There is an image here showing how to thread the machine. Now to open this, push the button here. It will unlock. This is how you open this. You can also remove this. You'll need to remove this when you thread the needle. So to remove this, push the lever back and open. Now we'll be threading one by one. Now I'll show how to thread the lower looper. Put the spool of thread and then take the thread through the thread guide here. Next through the thread guide here. Threading the machine in this part will remain the same for the next three threads. Now I'm threading the lower looper thread. That's the first one here. Now bring it in here. And again from top put the thread in. Put it through this guide here and bring the thread between the plates you see here in the tension disc and through the guide here. All the tension discs have colored dot which helps you in threading the machine. You just need to follow that color. And also I am using the same color as the dot here so that you can easily see. Now put it in here. Now 
Now if you see the dot color here is green. So you just need to follow the green markings. And the next green marking is here. You get a tweezer with this machine which is very helpful when you thread the machine as your fingers may not go in some places. So use the tweezer. Next green marking is here. Be attentive while threading the machine because one wrong move and you will not get your stitches right or the threads may break when you stitch. Next guide is here. So it's come from here to the next point, then the next point, then this point here and it's come here. The next guide is just above the guide we just put the thread to. Now hold the thread with the tweezer and take the thread to the other side. Now turn the pulley. This is a little tricky part. Now you need to put the thread from behind here through the thread guide and pull it from the side. Now again turn the pulley till you are able to see the eye in the needle here. Now this threading is complete. Just take the end of the thread and put it behind. This is the lower looper. Now let's see how to thread the upper looper. Bring it in here. Thread it in the same way as we did the green thread. Take the thread between the two plates here. Now pass the thread in the thread guide here. And then through this. And next is through the guide here. You can see the yellow markings. Next through the guide here. and through the guide here. And through the guide here. Just behind this guide, there is another. I'm not sure if it's very clearly visible. This is again a little tricky. Put the thread there and then Now you can see the upper looper here. Now the thread has to be from behind to this hole and then brought to the front. Now you need to put the thread in the side of the upper looper and it comes to the front. Just pull the thread. And in this upper looper there is another guide on the other end which you will be able to see by turning the pulley. Put from front and pull from back. So the second threading is done. Now put the thread behind. So the green thread that you see here is the lower looper. And the yellow thread that you see is the upper looper. Now let's see how to thread the needle. Similarly thread the next one. Now 
then let the thread pass through the guide here the first one pull it and through the guide here next over here then here now through the guide here now insert the thread here and pull it out and make sure the thread goes in between the two steel plates that you see here and through the guide here and pull it from under now thread the needle from front to back now turn the pulley to raise the needle so that you can thread the needle that is the thread should pass through the eye of the needle from front to back so the threading is complete for a three thread overlock if you are doing a five thread overlock there are two more threads to be threaded but that i'll be showing later first let's see the three thread overlock hold all the threads together and close this and also you need to close this to close this you need to push the lever back and then leave it close this now I'll show three thread overlock on this piece of fabric. Always when you try to overlock, take double layers of fabric. And before you actually start overlocking the fabric, just sew for three to four centimeters. Using the foot pedal, lift the footer, insert the fabric. Now if you see the edges of the fabric is not straight, there is a knife here which will cut the edges and make it straight and also it will overlock. Now I'll start the overlocking. You can see the edges being cut. So this is how a three thread overlock would be the overlocking stops the raw edges from fraying and this yellow thread is the upper looper that is it creates the loop on top of the fabric the green thread is the lower looper that creates the loops the back of the fabric and the red thread that you see here is the needle thread so this is how a three thread overlock would look now to decrease the stitch length just open this by pressing on the button here to reduce the stitch length press this button here and turn the pulley to your side till you hear the click sound then set the stitch length that you want now what we stitched was the number six now I'll set the stitch turn to 3. Okay. This was stitch length 6 and this is the stitch length 3. So this is how it looks. So you can change the stitch length as per your need and the look that you want. And also these tension discs need to be adjusted that is tightened or loosened depending on the fabric and the thread that you use. That is you will need to try the stitch first and if there is any looseness then you would need to tighten the tension disc. Now here I have used different color threads just to make it clearly visible for you. But ideally you would be using the same color thread that is you can either use a matching thread if you are making a three thread overlock you would need three spools of thread or 
You can use black colored thread for all the dark colored fabrics and white colored thread for all the light colored fabrics. This also has a differential feed to give a gathered effect to your fabric. To use it, loosen the screw and push this lever down and then tighten the screw completely. So when you change the setting in the differential feed, it gives this gathered effect. Get back to normal overlocking. Again, loosen the screw and lift the lever up completely and tighten the screw again. Now I'll show you the 5 thread overlocking. Now when you are doing a 5 thread overlock, you need to put the second needle as well, that is in front of the previous needle. So open this and using this tool which comes with the machine, loosen the screw here and then insert the needle. The groove should be facing you. Insert the needle completely and tighten the screw. When you are not using a 5 thread overlock, you need to remove this needle. Now let me show you the threading. The same way I am threading the needle thread. Now here the threading is same as before. Let it come through this thread guide, then through the tension nut between the plates. and now pass it through the guide here just next to where you see the red thread now through the thread guide here now after this turn the pulley and Pass the thread through the thread guide here. Again turn the pulley till the needle is up in the highest position. Again pass the thread through here like we did for the previous needle. The thread should be between the two plates what you see here. Now pass the thread through the guide here. and then to the eye of the needle from front to back. So this is the fourth thread and it's done. Now I'll show threading the last thread, that is the fifth one which is for the chain looper. Put the thread spool in the thread holder. Ideally you will be using a overlocking thread which is thinner than a normal sewing thread. But as I like to match the thread color with the fabric color, I sometimes use the sewing thread also and I have not faced any issue. So put the thread in the holder and thread it through the first guide here. Now through the next guide. From this point, you will be taking the thread to the thread guide here. Insert the thread and next through the thread guide here and then you will be taking it through here but it has to go all the way till the end and there is a special tool which is used to thread through this guide. This is a special tool which comes with the machine and helps in threading the fifth thread. One side has a hook kind of thing where you'll be putting your thread and the other side is to hold. Open this cover at the left side of the machine and insert this tool, the thread guide here. Now 
Now you can see the tool has come out from here. Put the thread inside the hook and then pull the other side. Now you see the thread has come out here. There is a tension nut here. Let the thread go in between the two plates and then through the guide here. Now thread through the guide here. Not very really sure if you are able to see this guide. If you are not able to see, let me explain. It's a similar guide in a reversed way in this side. Now take the thread under this and from behind thread through this guide that you see here. So it goes here, goes under and then from here. And next through the guide here. Next, you need to put the thread through the chain looper here. I'll just turn the pulley to show it clearly. This is the one. And there is another eye at the end of this looper. From here, if you see, I can't put the thread through the next eye you need to turn the pulley till you see the next eye on the other side when i turn the pulley the eye has come on this side so bring the thread to the other side you see here this is the other eye of the chain looper i'm sending the thread to the other side again i'll be using this tool to easily get the thread from the other side Now put the thread through the eye here. That's all. The fifth thread is also threaded now. Now you may close the cover on the left side. Now let's see the five thread overlock. Now this is the five thread overlock. And this was the three thread overlock we had done earlier. Now in the five thread overlock you can see an additional stitch that is the needle we had put and the blue thread that was the fourth thread that we had used. And this is the last thread, fifth thread which goes from behind which creates chain stitches. So this is the difference between five thread overlock and three thread overlock. In some of the garments, you can finish the garment that is sew the seams just with this overlocking machine without using the sewing machine because it does the overlock and also simultaneously does a stitch and hence you can finish the garment with just the overlock. Once you thread the machine perfectly, you don't need to do it again and again. If at all the thread gets over or you need to change the color of the thread, just cut the thread here and remove the spool, replace it with the other spool that you want to use. Put it through the guide here and take the previous thread and tie them together. Now continue sewing. After a while you will be getting this thread while sewing. So this saves time because threading this machine is a little time consuming. So in this way you can save time and you can do this for all the threads. Thanks for watching this class. See you soon in the next class. Until then, happy sewing.